Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. In this short video, we will be discussing struct tags in Go. Struct tags add meta information to the fields in our structs, which can later on be used by our program. So let us see how tags work in Go. On my screen, I have a small program. I have an animal struct in which I have two fields, name as well as age. And in my main function, I am creating a variable of type animal. The animal is cat and the cat is 10 years old. And then I'm simply printing the type and value of the variable A, which is main.animal. The name is cat and age is 10. Now I will be introducing some tags for the fields of the animal struct. Now suppose I want to say that the field name is a required field and can have a maximum of 10 characters. How do I do that by using structs? I simply um, put two backticks here and within the backticks I say required and then I say that max underscore len colon and then I use double quotes is 10. So this is the format for annotating a certain field within a struct with some tags. Here we have two tags. The first one being required, which is a standalone tag. And the next one being max len, which is in fact a key value pair and the key being max len and the value being 10. Now, please note that these tags can have any value. They are completely arbitrary. I can say tag has any value and it would still be working and then if i go ahead and run this uh, we could see that uh, you know we have the same output uh, here's a small warning that uh, the struct tag is not compatible with the reflect get method so let's just ignore it for now now many of you might be wondering if these tags are completely arbitrary then what is the use of having them here well these struct tags are adding metadata to the fields in your struct and this metadata can then be used to validate these fields within a struct and can also be used while converting one type of a struct into another or say converting a struct into a JSON string and so on and so forth. We will see the JSON example shortly, but for now, let us see how do we work with tags in our program. For that, the first thing I will do is import the reflect package. Next, uh, we can already see that we have a variable a of type animal. In the next line, I will say uh, t colon is equal to reflect dot type of a. And this will give me the type of a and store it in the variable t. And to show you, if I simply print the type and value of t here and I run this program, well, we see that uh, has a value of main.animal and a type of a pointer to reflect dot r type. In my next step, I will use the type t to get one of its field by name. So let me simply say field comma underscore colon equals to t dot field by name and then let the name of that field be age. And uh, I will simply change the print statement to printing the field dot tag. When I try to run this, we see that the field dot tag uh, is of type reflect dot struct tag and it has a value of tag has any value, exactly the value we gave it here. Let us now repeat the same thing for the name field as well. I'll simply copy the code from above and paste it here. And when I try to run this, okay, uh, we shouldn't use a colon equal to here. And yes, we get the value of the tag for the name field as well, which is required and maxlin colon 10. And now your Go code could easily build validation and conversion frameworks using tags. Next, let us see a very common and a very frequently used use case of struct tags, which is marshalling structs into JSON. For that, I will get rid of the majority of code from here and here as well. And I will declare a new type called t you can see that type t has four fields f1 f2 f3 and f4 all of which are of type string and we are also able to see all of the tags associated with each of the fields the first one says json colon field one the next one says json colon field two omit empty 
and uh, the last one says the son colon and a hyphen and don't worry if you don't understand this it will be clear just in a minute by seeing an example the next thing i'd like to do is create a variable of type t in my main method and also i would like to import a package encoding.json and get rid of the reflect package we can see here that field 1 has a value of v1 field 2 is empty field 3 has a value of v3 and field 4 has a value of v4 in my next step i will try to marshal the variable t into a json string so let me say s underscore colon is equal to json dot marshal and the argument would be t in the next line i would simply try to print the value of the string s let us see what happens now all right so what is the output we see here uh, we see a json string in which field 1 has a value of v1 field 3 has a value of v3 well that happened because the json dot marshall function is capable of reading these tags that we provided and then it is able to interpret them and create the json string accordingly and what are the instructions that these tags are providing well for the field f1 we are telling the json.marshall function that should be represented by the key field1 in the json string similarly f2 should be represented by the key field2 and f3 should be represented by the key field3 apart from that we are also telling this function that if this particular field in the struct has an empty value then the that particular key or the corresponding key can be ignored in the json output uh, and for f4 we are simply saying that this field always has to be ignored in the json output and that is how the json marshall function is able to convert this variable into a json string and that's all we wanted to discuss about struct tags in go all of the code that we just saw has been updated in this github repository ae dorado slash learning go and the file name is struct underscore tag dot go so please do check it out as well if you found the content of the video helpful please do hit the like button if you find the content of my channel helpful please click subscribe you can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates and like always thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys very soon in a brand new tutorial